What now? Give him the picture. Give him the picture. Hold on. Come on. That one. Uh, Arthur's already a little freaked out. I think showing <laughs> him a picture of his yet-to-be-born son could turn him into a vegetable. Oh, but it would have been funny. Oh, you can tell. You should never let me time travel. I'm just going to cause again. chaos. Please come down. Why? We've got some important information for got you. got some important information for you, but we can't yell it. It's private. Then put it in a postcard and send it. I'm stuck up here till the boss tells me I can leave. Sorry. Some other time. Why can't we just put the subpoena in his mailbox then? Do we actually have to hand deliver it? I'm fairly sure we have to hand deliver subpoenas, now that I think about it. Thanks for bringing us here, boy. We'll take it from here. Alright, let's talk to Emmett. Perhaps he has some ideas on how to get us up there. Um, never mind. I, I need help. Yeah, give me help. Hmm. Let's take a look at the hints. Really? You'll need to go and get something from the town center? All the way back again. Okay, this way. What could we possibly need? Uh-oh. I feel like this is just gonna go horribly, horribly wrong. Actually, hold on. hang on, I wanna see what's in th this box. We've walked past, past it several times, and it looks like it's interactive, but it's not. It's not. Never mind. Ooh, okay, okay, we wanna go this way. Let's try talking to Edmund one more time. Mostly because if I'm doing- if I'm going with the whole, let's do things because it's funny hey, act- Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. Then I actually want to suggest where the society can meet. Um, I want to say I they can meet the in the Burned Out Ruins. Society can meet. Oh, where? Burned Out Ruins. You could meet in the speakeasy, the one that got bombed last Wednesday. Now wouldn't that be poetic irony? But I'm not sure the building is structurally safe. Aw, darn. That would have been so funny though. Okay, let's try- You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? The Stay Sober Society. Yes, we do generally provide refreshments for the Stay Sober Society, but I'm afraid they may not be able to meet tonight. They haven't got a meeting space. Oh, darn. That's unfortunate. I got a book. I suppose we could go along to the meeting if they had a meeting place, and then just yoink the barrel. That's a possible explanation, right? And I feel like I'm just gonna get my ass handed to me if I go over there. So I guess let's do it. <laughs> oh, I'm just letting Marty run himself there, which it just makes things a lot easier if we do it that way. Well, well, look who's back. They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure people don't say matches. that. Oh, I guess we're gonna do the whole scene again, huh? Okay, I'm pretty sure this time I get I get my ass beat. Wait, 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 wait. There's, they're speaking, but there's no sound coming out, and there's no subtitles. Come down from there, you son of a bitch! Right now! I don't think they're in That's a talkative mood right now. I don't think don't they're in a talkative angry, mood right Spucko. now. Get down here and face the mute. Einstein, help! Lay off! Get away from that crazy Get mutt! Go, go away, dog! You I'm know what I find here. really interesting? We actually had to tell Einstein hey, to attack them, yet Einstein just blatantly attacked Edna. You let him get away, idiot! Which means she's a threat of some kind. I am adamant that she's the one who burnt down the speakeasy. Okay. We're gonna need to go somewhere else. Ah, 
I'm not so sure I want to stay in a place that welcomes transients. Uh, let's go away from Tannin. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut through this way, aren't I? What could we possibly need to get McFly to come out of his house? And what could we possibly do to get the booze off of her? I don't know! I'm so confused right now! We're just gonna try a few of these stores, and if I don't find anything, I feel like we might have to call it. How can I help you, sir? <laughs> Without any money, I don't really have any business in there. Why, do, why, is it, why is it even an option to go in there then? You gonna buy anything? Um, uh, no. Then get out, bum. I am not a. I'm wearing a waistcoat. How could I possibly be a bum? That's not fair. That's not very nice at all. Actually, I don't recall seeing anything on the other side, or at least not paying attention to anything on the other side of the street. Probably because we never get a view of it at all. At all. Alright. I feel like we need to somehow coerce more information out of Edna. Looks pretty sturdy. For a girl's bike. No, 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 no. Her. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh? Where? The Brown Mansion! Yes, the Brown Residence. The Brown Residence? You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place out for, you know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please, tell your friend Emmett we accept. Oh, and perfect! And the offer couldn't have come at a better moment. It's almost time for the meeting to begin. Okay, that's really perfect. Okay, so we have... We have that all set up. Um, hold on. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? do 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 Okay, I assume you're gonna bring it. I'm assuming you're gonna bring the barrel that you picked up to the meeting. So let's the say that. Stay sober, society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett volunteering his father's <laughs> house for our meeting. <laughs> uh, wait there. Michael. What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch. But we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No! Out of the question! Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house. What do we know about these people? Um, they're sober? Question mark? They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. They'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes! I play my tambourine very softly. You hear Say that? what? Yes, Whoa, whoa, whoa. You play... What? 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 what you play a tambourine possible? at the meeting? The thing of the Stay Sober Society. What'll happen to them? They won't stay they sober. They'll all fall off the wagon for all I care. Wow, that, that doesn't sound like the nice Doc Brown that we love and know. I promise, Miss Strickland. It means so much to her. The answer is still no. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No. I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Oh, Wait. you guilt tripper. You manipulative little kid. Wow, I can't believe you, you just did that. You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Was that... Edna was that, Strickland, I, I don't know I... how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, um, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. 
That sounded like flirtation to me. You got I've flirted got with. I've a bad feeling about this. Oh, you worry too much, Emmett. Now all we got to do is serve that subpoena, and we're off to build your rocket drill. And get my patent. Yeah, your uh, patent. Oh, I feel so bad for him. The only good thing that's to come with this is it's not going to affect future Emmett Brown because he's caught in this time stream, so he's not going to get modified by it, theoretically, because there's so much theory in this. Okay, I'm going to go get counsel, I think. Um, either that or, hold on, let's check our hints. Edna picks up the booze and is ready to deliver it. Yes, that's not a hint. I, I, I already did that. That's in the past. I don't need that information anymore. You're not helpful at all. Okay. I need my counsel. I need my sensei. Sensei Brown. Oh, no, no. This way. This way. Oh, this way. Oh, it's so hard controlling him. Doc. Guess what? In order to free up your younger self to complete the rocket drill, I'm gonna have to serve my own grandfather with a subpoena. Great Scott! Actually, his name's Arthur. He's Kid <laughs> Tannen's accountant. Marty, whatever you do, it's vitally important that you don't alter your grandfather's future in any meaningful way. The consequences- Could be catastrophic. I know, got it. Okay, okay. Then, then what do I do? What do I do? I can't subpoena him then. Hang in there, Doc. I don't know what to do, guys. I really don't know what to do. Um, okay. I wish I could turn the camera around as well. That would make things a lot easier. Okay, so we need... I've got a great idea. By I've got a great idea, I mean this can go horribly, horribly wrong. But just bear with me for a second. Uh, hold on, I'm just gonna need to run over. Fortunately, I can just click, and he'll Marty will walk over to whatever I click. But he he tends to walk, so I'm just holding shift. That's a good tip, I guess. Hey, hey. Yeah, I need you. To, I need you to chase me. Come on, come on, chase me. Just bear with me, guys. I've got a fantastic idea. I, I kind of don't think it'll work, but at the same time, it's the only option I've got right now. Also, was that a pencil stuck in the ground or something? Okay, perfect. And inventory. And tape recorder. You can't get away that- What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! Perfect. That was my idea. Oh, and it worked. Only making I'm it so work. glad. Hey, Einie. Look out, boss. It's it's that crazy mud again. Yes. You, you really... Oh, what's with the audio issues? I can't believe you lost him again! Okay. Einie, you are a fantastic dog. I wish I had a dog like you in real life. Then I'd get you to do my math homework as a kid, really. Um, yep, using the hat. This hat belongs to my grandfather. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, I don't remember which way to run, so follow Einstein. This hat belongs to my grandfather. Damn it. Okay. Um, I think we just keep going left on the, the other side of the streets, if I remember correctly. If not, I'm just going to be walking to every single corner of this little square until I find a direction to go in. Oh, oh. Nope, it's not this way. Oh, no, wait, no, I remember we ran past, uh, Doc. We ran past Doc Brown as he ducked out of sight from, from his younger self. Although, his younger self isn't gonna recognize him. They look so different. So there's, there's a 50-year difference. I'm not gonna recognize me from 50 years in the future. Probably. I don't know. I, I, I tend to think my, my face will change enough to where I wouldn't see the resemblance. What now? Okay. Inventory. I'm so proud of my my idea. 
I know it took me ages to come up with it, but I'm still proud. Just let me be proud. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! It's Kid! Right away, boss! Uh... Ah, where's Kid? Um... Kid is gonna be back in a second, but he told me to give you this. Arthur McFly? Yeah? Got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena? Ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into- Kid Tannen? Take it back! You can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest? But Kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid Artie. Holy cats, what am I gonna do? I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, I'm so worried for his safety now. Is Marty gonna start slowly disappearing? Oh no, oh no. I hope not. I hope everything works itself out well, somehow. We've served the subpoena and got a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on! You mean your garage. Or your basement. Or the basement in your garage. Doc! I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good! <gasps> Come on, let's go! Time waits for no man! Are you sure this is gonna work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man! That's great! Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel! While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction! Cool. Oh, hot! Extremely hot! <laughs> the temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? Uh... Emmett? Uh-oh. Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You tend to the reaction, I'll try to get rid of him! D oh no, oh what? no! Can't I don't, start I don't... over after he's gone? It's too late! The reaction's already started! Don't worry. I'll try to help you out where I can. But... Uh, coming, father! father! I wasn't paying attention! Oh, father I don't remember! Me, child. I don't remember! I don't know what's eating you, uh, father, but finish I processing the go on a diet. Okay, okay. We go to, go to the beginning. We, we turn the electrical crank, right? Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me! This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Yeah, I already turned the electrical crank. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Uh, fish tank. Fish tank. <laughs> I think that was good. I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes. A spark? Uh... Oh no! No, I screwed it up. I screwed everything up. What did you do? Emmett, who are you talking to in there? No one, father. Okay, spark. Spark. 
Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Oh, okay. This is the release valve. Why don't you go feed the ducks, father? Is he standing up to his father? Is he going to be a scientist now? Did we just advance his scientific progress? Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? Okay. Okay, now I get what you're saying. So we do need to do these in a kind of random order. It, at least it seems that way. Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Emmett, get back here. Oops. 